And here we go. Hi, my name is Charlie, and this is a lukewarm take of Uncharted Lost Legacy for the PS4. Uh, played it and just completed it right now. Um, I'm a moderate fan of the Uncharted games. I think the, the shooting is a little bit much, but um, just guys are a bit bullet spongy, but the story's always been awesome. Loved the second one, really liked the fourth one, and uh, saw Lost Legacy for cheap, so figured I'd give it a shot. Um, the game, I just checked my time. It took six and a half hours to complete. Bit of a so, slow player, but that's exactly the length. Exactly the length. They're building out characters that were side characters that I loved, Chloe and Nadine from previous games, and pairing them up. And um, it was really cool to have a, a girl dynamic of people that didn't like each other working together and becoming friends and partners. Um, whereas Sam and... Um, the name escapes me of his partner. Like, they were buddies from the get-go, and their relationship developed, but this was, like, a new thing created. So the game's a lot like Uncharted, just a different vibe. Um, it, over half the game takes place in a huge open world, uh, kind of outdoor environment. There's not, like, side missions, just stuff to find and puzzles. Um, I did maybe half of them. But um, the overall story was great. Uh, huge budget. Probably the best-looking game I've ever played on a console. I, because they could leverage all that stuff they put into Uncharted 4, and I think this is what big games need to do. Just like um, Infamous did uh, Last Light uh, as a side story, I think like every big game needs to leverage this for a new story so you don't have to old, know the old one, and it's something you can do to keep your team busy while you figure out your next big thing. While they're working on, on Last of Us 2, they're uh, knocking this thing out, putting a ton of time and effort into it, using some people that might not have had a chance to shine in previous games, and it was awesome. Um, the game, the shooting, is okay. It's been the same okay it's been in every game. The cover system is not great, and guys are everywhere, and there's too many of them. But uh, I turn on, like, lock-on, and I played on medium, but the lock-on really plays the game a lot for you in the shooting sections, which is totally fine. The story's great, graphics are beautiful. Uh, this, these are just the cutscenes playing behind me. Uh, it also comes with the full Uncharted multiplayer suite, but the handling just isn't something I want to get into multiplayer with. I played it a little bit in 4, and it was fine. But, um, I'm in the game for the story, the characters, some of the puzzles and the action and stuff. And it's Indiana Jones, who doesn't want to be Indiana Jones. So, I would recommend this game if you've, uh, played Uncharted series, especially 4. If you haven't, it certainly doesn't spoil anything, but um, but you could you could start off with this, and if you like the vibe, you can go into the other ones. They're all super cheap on PlayStation 4 and this. You can probably get them for the same price. 4 is a lot longer, to the point where it might be a little bit too long. This one, just right. Just the right amount of depth and uh, enjoyment. It's definitely a summer blockbuster, which uh, we all need sometimes. So I forgot if I'm giving ratings, I'll give it a 9 or a 9.5, especially at the 10 bucks you can get it for. If you have a PS4, especially a PS4 Pro, um, can't recommend it enough. Thank you for watching. I'm Charlie. This is Spencer, and this was a lukewarm take of Uncharted Lost Legacy. Thanks.